Hi everyone, it's Jake from Optimum, and this week on Tech Talk, we're going to be talking about Sheet Summary. You might already know that Sheet Summary can be used to surface important information from within your project without use leaving the sheet. We can also use it to run various calculations and even use that information to create dashboards. Let's get into it. Sheet Summary can be found on the right hand side of every sheet. When you open up the Sheet Summary, you'll see all the fields that have been previously added to this sheet uh, as a Sheet Summary field and you can add new fields using this button at the bottom. As you see here, you can add fields that are uh, free text edit for uh, relevant metadata that might be used for the uh, project or for the sheet. Um, for this, I'm putting my project name in here, which I'm also surfacing in the uh, task name uh, title right over here. Um, I'm also having them select the project manager directly in this sheet. Um, so they can do that using the drop down here. And then this can be used uh, for reference throughout the uh, project by anyone who wants to by just popping open the sheet summary. Say they want to contact the project manager about a question they have or something like that. This is a great quick and easy way just to have that contact recorded so they can find it. You can also uh, lock any of these uh, fields so that only admins can edit those. Um, so we recommend doing that for any uh, fields that you don't want changed by um, users. You can also calculate any relevant information you want directly from this sheet. So here I'm rolling up uh, my counts of tasks uh, by their status, um, as well as the counts of tasks by their health, um, and a, a last modified field, uh, basically showing the max uh, of, of the most recently modified column. These are just some examples of things you can pull out of a project plan. Of course, you can pull any metrics you want out of here, right? So if there's anything you want to calculate, if there's any specific view you want to see, if you want to see tasks upcoming in the next two weeks, anything like that, you can absolutely calculate those here uh, for reference. So if there's anything you commonly expect to need uh, surface as far as information directly on the project plan, this is a great place to do that. In addition to using this to reference uh, for metadata and for just referencing calculations directly inside this sheet, you can also use the sheet summary to roll up this information to a dashboard. Um, so you can do that either directly using the metrics widget, um, which can pull directly from sheet summary as we're doing here. Um, these are all uh, metrics you'll see at the bottom of our sheet summary here being pulled directly from our project plan. Or you can uh, use a sheet summary report to create a uh, chart like we have for task by status and task by health. These are both based off of uh, Sheet summary reports, uh, which is different from your usual row reports, right? This looks at the sheet summary instead of looking at the rows, uh, the actual content of the sheet. Um, so when we select this type of report, we can have it look at those uh, sheet summary fields and create uh, some charts for us by using those as the source instead of directly using the uh, widgets themselves as the source. Um, so this way, um, if you're already doing some calculations in an existing sheet and you want to surface that on a dashboard, instead of redoing the calculations or running an entirely new report off that information, you can use the uh, metrics that you already have and then it will retain any changes you make to this information, right? If you tweak how those, uh, those calculations are filtered or something like that, any of those changes would be reflected throughout. So it makes it easier uh, to not make multiple changes, not need a separate metrics sheet, anything like that. Um, so it just all rolls up directly from those uh, sheet summary reports. And say you had those all in a folder, you could just copy and paste the entire folder and those would all be uh, just related and already exist by default. As you see on our dashboard, we also have a few uh, metrics coming from our budget and our create sheets as well. Um, these are just some other ideas of how you can use your sheet summary fields, right? So if we're looking at an expense tracker sheet uh, calculated against a budget that's manually entered here, um, we're calculating our total approved cost based off this approval column. Our uh, pending costs based off of ones of these that have been submitted and not yet approved. And then of course the remaining based off of um, what's remaining between these two items combined and the budget, giving the amount um, that we have left to spend basically. And you'll see that this is creating uh, this graph uh, for the budget on our dashboard. And then for the CRAID, we're simply calculating um, our changes, risks, actions, issues, and decisions. Just a simple count of how many of those are in there uh, to roll up on the uh, dashboard just to give us a straight count of how many items have been entered. Um, you can make this more uh, advanced, right? You could do it for just open items. You could do it for open and closed items or some combination thereof um, and really make this uh, particular to what you wanted to see on the dashboard um, as well as what you wanted to see uh, in this sheet summary field when you open up for this sheet. Um, so those are just some easy ways that you can utilize sheet summary, both to show you some information um, at the sheet level, as well as to utilize that information that you may already be calculating to roll up to a uh, dashboard 
um, and have those calculations just already be there and uh, be reflective of any changes you make to the underlying sheet. Um, yeah, so that's an overview of the uh, sheet summary. I hope today's session gave you a better idea of how to utilize sheet summary, both to surface information within the sheet without leaving and to generate dashboards. This is also a feature that's scalable with tools such as Smartsheet Control Center, so please drop a comment or question down below if you have any about that. If you have any other questions or comments, please reach out to us at our website, OptimumCS.com. Thanks and have a good one.